Hi everyone, Ironclad Cobra here again. This is part 2 of the Steam Deck Quick Guide or the Steam Deck 10 Tips for Beginners. As I mentioned in my previous video, I just want to talk about a couple of more basic settings. So as you see now, I'm still on the desktop mode and we just finished talking about updates. Make sure to go, uh, you know, frequently to check your updates. And as I mentioned earlier, it's this little button here. You just, it's like an arrow. You just click on it and then it shows you here if there are updates. You just click on the updates. So it's trying to fetch or bring updates if they are available. If not, that means it's up to date. As I mentioned, uh, checking the up updates on the game mode sometimes it doesn't show so make sure to come back to the desktop mode since we are in the desktop mode we can actually talk about um, the, the disabling screensaver because sometimes if you are downloading a game the you know the, the screen goes uh, into sleep so I personally don't like that so I always keep it off if you want to do it here, make sure to go to the to the system settings here, which is this icon. You just click on it, and then you can go to you can navigate with your D-pad. Go at the bottom. Of course, all these tips will be included in the you know video description, so everything will be there to check later. So make sure to go to your power management, as you see here. And then from power management, you can click on it. Oops, sorry. Just a sec. So power management. Just make sure to bring your mouse on it. And then with your right trigger, as you see, it brings up uh, the menu here. There is on battery. As you see here, you can uncheck this part dim screen you can just uncheck it with your you know right uh, trigger and then you can also uncheck screen energy saving and you can also uncheck suspend session so this is on battery you can do the same on ac power exactly the same settings you can just make sure to uncheck them if you don't like the screensaver and then at the end when you finish you can come down here apply and then you can just left click on it and so it applies the changes okay so that would be it and then you can close it you can either close it by the trackpad or you can close it with your you know finger because it's interactive screen as well so um, this is regarding the screensaver settings um, you can also um, add non-Steam games, but you have to do this only when you are in the desktop mode, as you see here. Make sure to go to your Steam library here, or to your Steam uh, profile, as you see here. And then at the bottom, as you see here, add a game. And then, it's a little bit small, you can go to add non Steam game so you can navigate with your mouse and then left click so it brings up the menu you know you can just choose whatever you like to add to your Steam library and then you come down here where it says add selected programs so this is how to add a non Steam game to your Steam library and then cancel if I don't want to already because I've done it and then close Okay, uh, if you want to go back to your uh, game mode, you can, you know, come back here. That says return to game mode. You can click on it, whether with your finger or with your mouse or track uh, pad. It takes you back to the game mode. We are in game mode again. Just a couple of seconds. 
This is an awesome handheld, guys. You know, since I got the Steam Deck for the last two weeks, I'm not touching my other consoles. I have around 15 playable consoles in my console collection, but none of them is played, you know, since I got this, because it plays AAA games, and it plays, um, uh, it plays really uh, retro game emulation very, very well. So, we are again in the game mode. As I mentioned, you can also check updates here. But as I mentioned earlier, it will not, you know, apply it. So it's in the settings, and then system, and then updates, check for updates. As you see here, it's checking the updates, but as I mentioned, it might show up to date, but you might have updates in the desktop mode. So, that's it. And then uh, one important thing is, uh, or uh, setting that you have to know is to bring the shortcuts uh, or the hotkeys. If you click on the Steam button here for a couple of seconds, holding it, it brings the shortcuts or hotkeys that you can choose from. And then when you release your finger, it goes away. Uh, if you want to bring the virtual keyboard, it's the Steam plus the, oh, wait a second, Steam and X together, oh, just a sec, uh, I think we have to, oh, wait a second, I think we have to be in the typing, yeah, if we are going to type something, Steam and X will bring actually, yeah, you can bring it with your finger, but it can also be brought by Steam plus X. Okay, so I'll include all these uh, in the video description as well. Uh, the last option you can also think about is your uh, screen brightness. There is a very cool option, it's called, I think you can bring it from, from here. Uh, oh, wait a sec, no, not here. I think it's from the Steam settings. You can go to settings here and then display. You can also remove the screensaver here, as I mentioned, uh, you know, but uh, it's, it's a good option to enable adaptive uh, brightness. So it will adapt to your surrounding lighting when you are outside or when you are in, you know, indoor. So these are some cool settings. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. In the future, I'm going to make dedicated videos on AAA games plus emulation. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe and see you in future videos. Thank you, guys.